This is your AESH Logistics News Minute for Tuesday, February 1, 2022. In mainstream news. CNBC reports, green fuels will cost the consumer, but we need to think long-term, Maersk CEO says. The CEO of shipping giant Moeller Maersk admitted to CNBC Thursday that shifting to green fuels would come at a cost, but emphasized the importance of focusing on the bigger picture rather than short-term pain. Sarinsku's comments come a day after his company said it wanted the entire business to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions in the year 2040, 10 years ahead of its previous goal. When we embark on this carbon neutrality journey, we are going to use green fuels, Sku, who was speaking to CNBC's Squawk Box Europe, said. As a starting point, these fuels were probably two to three times much more expensive, Sku said. Wall Street Journal reports, Amazon, UPS, Exxon are on deck to report earnings in coming week. Amazon.com Inc. United Parcel Service Inc. and Exxon Mobil Corporation are among the companies headlining another busy earnings week as investors continue to digest company comments about supply chain challenges and inflation. Also expected to report earnings are tech giants like Google parent company Alphabet Inc. and Facebook parent Meta Platforms Inc. Automakers Ford Motor Company and General Motors Company and other big names in manufacturing, pharmaceuticals and industrials. Supply chain digital.com headline, Optimizing Road Transport with AI-Powered Retail Planning. The future of transport management will be resilient and sustainable, with enhanced recipient services at a lower cost to serve, says Tim Bateman of TCS. Tim Bateman is a retail supply chain partner at TCS based in the UK. With over 25 years of experience in retail supply chain, Tim has led several large supply chain transformation programs leveraging processes improvements, organizational clarity, and the right technologies. In logistics and transportation publications headlines, TransInfo reports on its front page, PROJECT44 says its new tech extends European intermodal visibility. According to the supply chain visibility giant, its new offerings expand true intermodal visibility, including rail visibility, into all European countries with over 99% network coverage. In addition, the company says it now provides extended visibility for barge and cold chain transports. PROJECT44 also claims that the breadth and depth it can offer to global shippers, 3PLs and carriers is now even more extensive than any other supply chain visibility provider. Jet McCandless, founder and CEO of PROJECT44, says the drive to improve multimodal visibility was fueled by the complexity of the European rail market. In another headlines of TransInfo, Czech councils hindering 16 million euro investment in new lorry parks. In the coming years, the Czech Republic is to invest 400 million krona, approximately 16.3 million euros, in the construction or expansion of HGV parking areas. As a result, 1,500 lorry park places are to be created. However, when it comes to the realization of the plan, local and regional councils are accused of hindering the projects. From 2018 to 2021, 407 lorry parks were built in the Czech Republic, costing more than 600 million krona, approx 24.5 million euros. This is still not enough though, as it is thought at least 1,500 more places are still needed. TTnews.com headline, TMCI's automated driving systems with new recommended practices. As the weather has turned frosty and with hockey season well underway, TMC has turned a hat trick in pursuing three goals for its development of prospective recommended practices, RPs, covering automated vehicles. In fact, capitalizing on the energy released at the in-person 2021 fall meeting in Cleveland, TMC will be balloting 30 new and revised RPs over the winter, enough for 10 hockey hat tricks. Logistics manager headline, funding boost for drone hub to serve Scottish Isles. Plans for a drone hub to service Scotland's islands using unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, have taken a step forward, receiving UK government funding. Argyll and Butte Council has welcomed confirmation of the award of more than £170,000 from the UK government's Community Renewal Fund to create a new of logistics hub at Oban Airport. The funding boost for the hub, which also features a drone flying training academy, builds on the Argyll and Butte Rural Growth Deal proposal. The proposal includes plans for a Vertiport takeoff and landing facility at the airport. The award will help develop the business case for both the hub and academy facilities. This has been your AESH Logistics News Minute for Tuesday, February 1, 2022. If you want more global logistics news and real-time alerts, hit the subscribe button now and follow us on social media.